Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Crash Cage review. Uh, this is all the stuff that we got from the recent toy hunt. Don't need any of that. This is what we're after, the Crash Cage. Uh, you can see I got it from Smith's, it was $29.99. Um, and we've seen this for a while and on quite a few toy hunts I've been saying, why does it say see it come to life at NXT TakeOver? We've never had a Crash Cage match. Then lo and behold, take over Toronto, we have a Crash Cage match. Um, and it was a really fun match as well. TM61 against the Authors of Pain. Paul Ellering was in the cage, he's the manager of the Authors of Pain. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, as soon as I uh, went to the shops after seeing that match, I knew I wanted this uh, crash cage playset. So this is the packaging. It's, it spins really well. Look at that! So on the back of the box, um, they did a great job as well of making the actual crane look like this crane, uh, which was really smart. So you get, this is the picture on the back. You can see there's like two launchers which we'll get out and we'll have a play with. Um, and uh, it says 360 uh, degrees of crash action, battle inside and outside the ring, strike the cage to make it crash down, ladder detaches and collapses. Seems like it's quite a bit, you know, to this. The only problem is it's all unassembled, so I'm going to have to make it, and I'm not very good at making things. So, uh, right, let's give it a go then, shall we? I'm going to give this a go and hopefully when you join me next I will have a crash cage ring. So check this out. Look at this. Um, so it was a little fiddly to put together uh, but we've got the crane over here and this rotates 360. Whoa. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, you can wind the cage back up. Makes a nice noise. There we go, look, so you can wind the cage up and then you can have someone, it's a real big cage as well. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking of putting in there, but that is, that is pretty big. Um, so yeah, you've got the, the crane there, the, the mat, it has got a bit of a spring to the actual in-ring bit, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you get this, it's, oh, it's weird, isn't it? I th uh, it's like, I think meant to be like a ladder thing, but to tell the truth, you take it apart and then you clip one on this side, like this, and you clip the other on this side, like that, and then you can put wrestlers in and fire them at the cage. So, we're definitely gonna give that a go. So, I need three wrestlers. One for the cage, one for there, and one for here. So I was thinking, well, who shall I get? So, first of all, I got Sin Cara! Yes, of course I got Sin Cara, of course I got Sin Cara. So, Sin Cara is gonna be the man to go in the cage. So open it, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I might as well lower it down. There we go, put Sin Cara in the cage. I wonder if I can get it so that I can raise him and he can still stand. Is he standing? Right. Let's close the door. Jen, oh. Uh, yes, he's going well. Yes. Look at that. Ah. I don't know if you can see, but he is proper leaning. Uh. I don't even know how do you how do I stop it from going back down? There. Yeah, he stayed standing. So we've got Sinkara. So next wrestler. Umaga. Yes, we're gonna fire Umaga. I'm gonna take his little skirt thing off. His sarong. Pop his sarong over there. So uh, we're gonna have Umaga over here. We're gonna fire Umaga. I don't know if Umaga fits in that well, actually. Oh, I have fixed the table as well since uh, since the Seth Rollins Big Figs incident that nearly killed me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see me because there's like this massive cage in front of my face, but I'm sure you're loving it. Um, and then my final wrestler, you know who it is. You know who it is. 
It's Kamala! Yes, so we've got Umaga, Sinkara, and Kamala! What a match this is going to be. So, I'm going to take off his shield. Pop that down there. I'm going to take off his mask. Awesome. Uh, right, let's pop him in this thing. So, we've got Kamala. Right, okay. I, I, th I think these figures are quite big. I don't know if they're going to properly launch. Let's see if I can uh, swing round. Right, here we go. Let's try and launch. I don't even know if you guys can see. I am going to move it over so hopefully you can see. Let's turn this round. There we go. Right, so you pull it down. All right, like this. And then when you let go, let's see if it... Oh, that was rubbish. He's quite heavy though, isn't he, Umaga? So, let's try Kamala. Uh, there we go. Right, I'm going to give this everything. Let's go right down to the bottom. Come on, Kamala. Come on, Kamala. Oh. Come on, Umaga. Oh, he's just too fat. It's too fat, he can't go up in the air enough. Kamala can though. I've got a good feeling about this one, guys. I've got a good feeling. Come on, Kamala. We want to see the cage crash. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've got a faulty cage. I figured out the problem, guys. Those last figures were S A W F T soft. So we're going to give Enzo a go. Air Enzo. Oh, he's the man and he's the man that can do this. Come on, Enzo. Oh, he doesn't sit well in the launcher. Oh, that might not be a good sign. Got him. Got him. Got him. What? Why can't any of them knock down the crash cage? Daniel Bryan, no. Finn Balor, no. Renee Young, no. Daniel Bryan was no. Renee Young was a no. Erenzo, you've got one more chance to redeem yourself. No. Charlotte, where, where have you come from? Oh, wow, impressive. She loves her moonsaults, if nothing else. Brock. Umaga. No. One left. The mighty Kamala. Okay, guys. Well, uh, didn't quite work, but still had great fun. This is a great set, and as we said, you know, uh, I'd give it a strong nine. Thanks a lot for watching. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, see you again next time. Bye for now. Stupid.